Hey there, Bridge family. It's Pastor Jeff. I wanted to come and I wanted to talk to you once again about how God is moving in our midst, how he's witnessing to our witness as we just commit ourselves to the glory of God, as we become those champions, those ambassadors of Christ who tell the world of his glory through his grace by sharing and living out the gospel as best we can. Now, to that end, I've got some updates and some planning and some scheduling things, as well as just a continuation of some of our conversation. And then again, uh, I'm just so blessed to share with you an update where the Lord has blessed me as a dad, as a pastor, as a missionary, as a brother in ways that I can't wait to share with you. So let me first just tell you that I want to remind everybody that Easter Sunday is coming, and that's when we annually celebrate what we call the Annie Armstrong Special North American Missions Offering. Now, let me just remind you that twice a year at Easter and then again at Christmas, we take special offerings for the express purpose of putting missionaries out on the mission field. At Christmas, we do it with our Southern Baptist brothers and sisters uh, for international missions where every penny goes out to the mission field. And at Easter, we take this same offering for the express purpose of putting more missionaries out into North America. And we as the bridge have been blessed by this offering and this commitment of our Southern Baptist brothers and sisters on two different occasions. This Annie Armstrong offering and the uh, effort put forth by the Southern Baptist brothers and sisters were used both to get us started on Kent Island and then again when we moved here to Vermont and opened up the Bridge Family's gathering here in St. Johnsbury. So please understand that this is not just a call to some special missions offering. This is a call to come back to where we have our roots, where we have been blessed as the Bridge family to be recipients two times from this offering and from the efforts that come out of those that are putting this offering together. Just to give you a sense, we as a church family have received over our existence somewhere between $150,000 and $200,000 out of our Southern Baptist brothers and sisters giving which comes in large part through this Annie Armstrong offering, as well as our ongoing commitment month by month, year after year. Now, secondly, I want to let everybody know that uh, on Saturday night, this coming Saturday night, there's going to be an AIT that's going to be shared. And this is something that's going to serve two purposes. Not only will it be an AIT from six to nine o'clock, that uh, everyone is invited to, but it's also going to be the kickoff to this year's training for our summer missions trips. So whether you're going to Uganda or Vermont or Maryland, or really just the fact that you're living and breathing as a Christian, this training is for you. Uh, it's an AIT for all of our church, it's also the first of our training sessions. And, and for those of you that are going to go on mission, I can already hear it. Some are saying, well, what do you mean? It, it's Tuesday. What, what do you mean we're starting on Saturday? Well, welcome to Fluidity Training 101. To be ready and to be fluid enough to have the kind of flexibility that can move and pounce. Now, that's, that's very good training on one hand. It's also just the reality that we've got so much going on that this was something that needed to fit in here based on other scheduling and other commitments that are underfoot. So this will be Saturday night from 6 to 9 this Saturday, and it's going to be an airing of the documentary American Gospel. And I'll explain more when we get into our specific training, but let me just tell you that for this year's summer missions trip, the emphasis is going to be on understanding the biblical church, God's biblical design for church. And so when you're on mission, to be able to know the difference between good and bad church, healthy and unhealthy church, the real message of the gospel as shared by the people 
of God. So that'll begin this week. And Saturday night, 6 to 9, I pray that you'll be there. If you're on Kent Island or in the Maryland family to come to the church, we're going to stream this in-house to our family to come up in St. Johnsbury to the mustard seed or to the church office. And for those that are going to be elsewhere, it will be streaming on our His Bridge Live, and so that'll be an option for you. Now, third, let me continue the conversation from earlier. Um, if you remember, I spoke to you late last week about uh, Josh calling me and telling me he had a heart for Kirby, but not just Kirby, Victory Road in Kirby, and not just Victory Road, but uh, a home at the end that he thought might have a woman in it. Well, you're not, you're not going to believe this. Well, you will if you're in our family. But here again, this is God witnessing to his witnesses. This is the miraculous, and yet at the same time, it's real life right here, right now. Well, first of all, let me just tell you this. I got a, a notification this morning that Victory Road is going to be closed in Kirby for the month of April. Uh, Kim sent me a update from our local newspaper up here. You say, well, what's the big deal? Well, if you remember, Josh said that he had a heart now to go to Kirby, to the end of Kirby where he was told there was a, a home and pro potentially a woman that lived there. Well, I was telling that story Sunday morning during our 9 o'clock Bible study up here in St. Johnsbury, and believe it or not, I, I swear to you, a woman sat in our Bible study who came as a visitor, and as I was telling the story, she stopped me, and she said, whoa, 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 hang on. I live on Victory Road. I live at the end of Victory Road, and I'm here today. Now, as though that weren't enough, one of the other women in our church who was also there said, and, and this I know to be true because I'd prayed with her and, and for her in this prayer. She had been praying for the woman that came as a visitor, who was now and recently moved there, by the way, had recently moved there. But our sister in the Bridge family had been praying for the other woman who had come as a visitor and didn't realize that she had recently moved to Victory Road at the end of Victory Road. Now, if that were not part of God's word and, and the conversation carrying forward, you wouldn't believe it. But now notice this, because here, again, this is, this is in the context of spiritual victories on Victory Road in the context of spiritual warfare. Well, let me show you again the spiritual warfare. That was Sunday morning, continuing on the conversation from last week. And then this morning, before 8.30 this morning, I get notification that for this entire month, that road is going to be closed. No access in or out from that road. Do you not see this battle taking place right before us in, in a very real Ephesians 6 context? That this is spiritual warfare in its most real and raw state. And, and I'm not going to go into it, but I'll tell you this that there are more tributaries off of that story that I could share with you that, again, are just absolutely jaw-dropping, real and raw. God is at work, and the enemy of God is at work fighting against what the Lord would have for us to do and to be. Just, just know that, friends. Now, here's one last thing, and again, I'm just speaking to the blessings that I have as pastor, as missionary, as brother— but also his dad. You see, yesterday I got notification that our son Griffin has been chosen by the staff at Southern Seminary. The staff within the Billy Graham School of Missions and Evangelism, they've chosen our son Griffin. And let me say this, your brother Griffin, your Bridge family missionary who has been sent out into the world, but the staff in the Billy Graham School at Southern Seminary have chosen for this year's recipient of the Drummond Distinction in Evangelism Award, our son Griffin. What a blessing to see again. Go back to Hebrews 11, verse 2, 
God commends or God commissions and witnesses to the commission and the witness of those that are truly his and are living out a life of distinction by faith. Not something that is about works, but just a sold out, all in surrendered life in Christ. I'm so blessed to tell you that not only will I be graduating from Southern Seminary and going through that process, walking across the stage with my son this May at Southern Seminary, but I'm so blessed to see that the faculty, those most in tune to what God is doing and to pour into the men and women of this seminary, that they would choose Griffin to receive the Drummond Distinction in Evangelism Award. And, and Dr. Drummond used to be a professor there, and, and the reason why the award is named after him is they said that he had the most distinction of any faculty there at Southern Seminary in pouring into others the, the selfless love of a servant that is dedicated to the glory of God through the sharing of the good news, the pouring into others. To, to understand, evangelism is not the sharing of good news so that there can be spiritual orphans born. But no, it's a distinction that says, my understanding of evangelizing the lost doesn't stop until we're committed to growing the found, to be disciples who make disciples who make disciples. And now at one of, if not the most distinguished institution of its kind in the world, to think that our Griffin, not just mine and Kim's son, but our family brother, Griffin, is going to carry that distinction. I pray to inspire not just his dad, not just his brothers and sisters in a church family, but to inspire others all around the world. What a blessed people we are. The Lord continues to witness to our witness. And I pray that it just serves to fire you up to walk by faith and to bring our King glory no matter what, no matter where, no matter when, that you and I will thank him for this incredible privilege to be his ministers of reconciliation, his ambassadors, his aroma, his army of discipled warriors. Thank you so much, friends. I love you, and I look forward to our being together, serving him soon. Amen and amen.